Hello folks, my name is Greg Delane. I'm the broker and owner of G. Delane Real Estate. I started my real estate career back in 1994. How long ago was that? These were the cell phones then. Here's how thin they are today. I developed this show because I believe that experience is the difference. My guests are experts at what they do. We come together to help make your real estate experience more pleasurable and profitable. Let's get started. Enjoy the show. folks and welcome to real estate q and I'm your host Greg Delane and <clears throat> on my show we have professionals that come in and go over the different aspects of uh, things that deal with buying or selling a home I always say experience is the difference I am pleased to have this next person on my show uh, he is from home team uh, home inspection services good guy and his name is Arsenio Pena. I've been knowing him for a while and I wanted to get him on the show to talk a little bit about home inspection and that's what today's show is about. Uh, Arsenio, how you doing? Pleasure, Greg. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having me on the show. Listen, I only want pros on my show. Thank you. And before we get going with some of my questions, I want you to just give us an update of your bio, how you got here, what, what do you, how did you get into the home inspection business? Sure. Um, I started out in, um, in the basically construction end of this business. Uh, I went to school for it. Uh, my background is engineering, electrical. And basically, I, uh, after that, I realized I wanted to do, you know, homes, um, uh, you know, consulting and stuff. So that brought me the idea of home inspections. Okay. I've been doing uh, home inspections for over 15 years now. I've done over close to 6,000 inspections and uh, I've always been for helping uh, you know those individuals who are in the uh, process of buying a, per uh, a home. 6,000? Yeah, close Holy to 6,000. There's a lot of inspections. Yes. Now, and, and, and you're with Home Team Inspection Services. Where are they located? Where do you do? Where's your, where's your company and where do you right. do it from? We're a franchise. We're based out of Ohio. Okay. So basically in the United, uh, United States, there's uh, one representative for each state. Okay. Each, you know, for each uh, county and et cetera. So I handle uh, New York, which is uh, uh, Rockland and Westchester. Okay. So we, uh, we, we you can have multiple uh, territories. Yes. And those are my territories. Uh, Arsenio, can you say that in Spanish? Of course. <laughs> okay, yes. I want my audience because I can't tell you how many homes I've sold mm -hmm. where if they didn't bring their children, to translate for both of us, and okay. my and my Spanish is uh, biquito, so I want okay. you to share that in Spanish for me. Uh, nosotros somos una compañía que uh, ofrecemos uh, una una inspección profesional para la gente que están comprando casa, y básicamente nosotros le le enseñamos todo lo de la casa que ustedes deben saber antes de hacer una compra tan grande así. Okay. I know exactly what you said. Okay. I know exactly what you said. All right, let's. Uh, I got some questions for you, but uh, we'll 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 get to this after. I got some questions for you. Mm -hmm. Why should a person buying a house or selling their house invest in a home inspection? Well, a home inspection, in in, uh, in my point of view, and it, it's always been like that. And when I bought my first house, it's probably one of the most crucial uh, investments that you will ever make. Yes. Yes. Besides, uh, you know, you being married, you know, it's it's very, uh, you know, very crucial point in your life where you're making a very big investment. So if you're making this huge investment, you want to make sure your home. Uh, gets inspected by a professional. Yes. Uh, who's going to inform you of everything you need to know so that you can make an educated uh, or, or an informed decision on, mm -hmm. on what you're purchasing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we basically educate uh, the buyer 
on everything about the home, the exterior, the roofing, the siding, walkways, drainage problems, etc. Inside the house we move in and we inspect the house for uh, general condition. Uh, there's things that we're going to run into that are you know basically all part of uh, maintenance uh, but some things uh, you should address have addressed with your a professional realtor as well so that maybe uh, you don't run into uh, uh, big problems uh, you know after you purchase your home yeah I, you know I've always said that uh, marriage children and a home purchase mm -hmm. is probably the three one the three biggest financial moves that you'll make yes. maybe not in that order but right. they are so mm -hmm. to uh, to have somebody come in and I never quote people's fees and that's something they should call you about right. but to have somebody come in and take a look and tell you what kind of furnace is this a furnace or a boiler exactly. is this is the electrical panel what kind of amp right. is it that's right. stuff that they need to know exactly and, and you're the, the one that you call the uh, the inspector uh, his responsibility should be to educate that buyer on what it is, uh, everything about that home. So obviously they're not going to get on roofs, et cetera, but the inspector most of the times will get on that roof, tell you, look, you got this type of roof. It's e either in, at the beginning, mid, or end of its life. Yes. And, and as, as far as the, the, the other uh, systems inside the house, he should be able to point out this is a boiler or this is a furnace. This is the electrical panel. This is what you do in case you run into trouble. This is the water heater, et cetera. All the main systems of the, uh, of the property should be, you know, report it to the uh, to the buyer so that he knows exactly what to do in case of emergencies it I, I it's amazing to me when I get to home inspections like we just did one mm -hmm. and uh, I, I for me I'm gonna be there walking through the whole house with you mm -hmm. and unless the home inspe unless it's a my client I really can't step in to say, listen, you should be with that guy. Walk right, through the right, house, right. ask the questions. Right. You know, that's what you're paying for. Right. Uh, and I try to stay out of the way because he's paying you and they're supposed to be with you. It right. amazes me how many people uh, have their home inspector doing everything. And they'd rather read the, the right. inspection and sp instead of walking Being around with, with the you. inspector. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And, and I do appreciate that, Greg, uh, basically how... Um, many professional realtors, they, they let the inspector do his thing and basically the inspector should be with that buyer. That buyer should be looking at everything that inspector is doing. Absolutely. So that way they're, they're not confused. Uh, mind you, we do our inspections uh, and sometimes you may run into things that couldn't have been reported at that time of inspection. So when, what we provide you with is a visual uh, inspection of the home at time of inspection. Okay. Now, when you purchase that home and you move in afterwards, there may be a couple of other things that, but hopefully, it won't be anything major or that. Because that buyer, you're going to be with that inspector, and you're going to see him doing everything that he does. Sure, sure. And so, you know, it's it's very very informative for a, for a buyer to watch what the, that inspector is doing. And in most cases, sometimes these buyers are either chatting or not paying attention to what the inspector is doing. Yeah, and, and, and I will say this to the realtors that are out there. Let the inspector do his job. If you're representing the seller of the house and the inspector is there for the purchase, the per per person purchasing the house, stay out of their way. They don't need your opinions. And I'll tell you this, Arsenio, I went through home inspection. I, I mm -hmm. took a course mm -hmm. through AHIT, another company. Right, right, to, right. It was not to do inspections. It was just to teach my agents exactly. more about this business, the right. structural stuff you have to look at, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, double tapping in electrical right, right. panels, basic stuff. Mm -hmm. But when people are doing a home inspection, I usually sit out in my car unless you ask for me. Right, right. I, that's not my business. Right. And I don't want to interfere and say something that uh, can cost a new buyer right. something. We'll negotiate all this stuff out later, you know? Exactly. All right, let's get on with the question. See what the time, see how the time <laughs> is moving? <laughs> all right. What type of things does an inspector really look for when he's doing an inspection? Well, I, the way I do my inspections is I break it up systematically. Okay. Uh, and, and in many, and, and at, 
almost at all times. Basically, I, I start out in the exterior. Yes. I do all my exterior components. Yes. Uh, which is walkways, uh, driveways, uh, siding, mm -hmm. drainage, grading of the property. Uh, I look for environmental uh, problems, uh, safety concerns that are related to the exterior of the home, like walkways uh, being a trip hazard, etc and then uh, I walk the roof. If the a roof is walkable, I walk all my roofs. Okay. So that's, that's very, very important for the inspector to do that for you. After that, we, uh, we take a lot of notes and uh, I don't like to talk to the, to the buyer right after I do this, so I, I save it to the end. Yes. And then afterwards, I go into the house I start checking the interior components of the house or systems of the house. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you may turn on the heating system, then uh, turn on your, your cooling system, check those systems out, uh, look at the, you know, the condition of the home, the, the wear and tear of the home, yes. see what the, uh, what the buyer is going to run into or maybe have to face once he's in that house. And we check every window, door, outlet for operation mm -hmm. condition. And we inspect the attic for, you know, the sheathing underneath the insulation and all that stuff, uh, stuff and for water problems. Yes. Uh, lastly, we inspect the basement. We inspect the foundation, the supports, the uh, heating system, the furnace, and, and all of that. And then uh, we uh, finally uh, walk the, the uh, buyer, the client, through mm -hmm. all these conditions that are found. Now, usually do buyers have... And I, I know this answer, but uh, don't they usually have something they want you to really check, you know, because they've been through the house right. and then they hear other people talking right. and say, oh, we bought this house. And as soon as right. we got the house, the furnace went right, and we had right. to spend this much money. So usually they they will bring you to a specific Exactly. Thing, but you're going to do the whole house anyway. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, usually that's, uh, I pay very close attention to my buyers yes. or my clients. Uh, usually they want you to address certain conditions. Absolutely. So I do, I focus on those uh, conditions. Mm -hmm. I walk them through. Hey, it's, it, it is, yes, it is a problem or it isn't a problem. And uh, on top of that, you know, address all the conditions that are found and, and, and educate them. The most important thing is that you, you educate your buyer, uh, your client, on what on what they're getting into and the condition of the of the home of the property. I like what you said. You really listen to them, and I try to teach mm -hmm. the new agents or people mm -hmm. that are getting in this business. And I don't care what field it is. Uh, the uh, it's the best thing about sales is to listen. Right. You can't have all the answers. Right. You got to let the person. And everybody explains things differently, mm -hmm. and you got to let them feel comfortable and really tell you what they're and what's really on their mind. And if you don't right. talk and listen, you'll right. hear that. You'll hear that. Right. All right. Let me get to another question. Uh, what trends are you seeing in the market that has affected your business? Well, obviously, um, several back going back several years, you know, we were everyone was buying a house and et cetera. So we were very busy. Now, you know, we we got hit with a recession, uh -huh. and the business is definitely changing. It is improving. We are seeing a change in the market now. Yes. So we are starting to get busy again, but you know, uh, it, it was basically uh, now because uh, this uh, you know such few buyers or fewer ba buyers in the industry uh, a lot of sellers are doing pre-listing inspections and these are inspections that basically at the same time you're educating uh, that seller yes uh, it's very uh, it's a very good investment for the seller because now you're giving the seller some options mm -hmm. basically to say hey I'm aware of this yes I know I have a problem I'm either going to either re reduce or no uh, you know or, or say I'll give you credit or have the condition corrected yes and uh, that is a good option that we're seeing and we're getting uh, we're hearing a lot more from that I'm getting calls for that basically to do pre listing in inspections and and usually it, it's a good investment for for the seller because basically you could either just tell him walk him through verbally and he'll take notes etc and you or you could provide him with a full detailed inspection like we do provide our buyers with well you know it is it means just as much on the other side of the fence if somebody's going to invest mm -hmm. three hundred and fifty thousand thirty years mm -hmm. to pay for something 
if it's going to cost you 400 or five, whatever the cost is to right. have the house inspected, it's important to do it. On the other side of the fence, if you're if you're telling me that your house is worth 550, right, and I say to you, well, how did you get to that number? Exactly. Okay, let's take a look, and we'll walk around, and I'll see things, and I'll say, you know. You might want to have that home inspected. If you're trying to get this amount of money for your house and you have to pay the realtor, you right. have to pay the attorney, why not have it inspected? That mm -hmm. certainly saves us because uh, I don't have to tell you that your furnace is 20 years old and it's, and it's leaking and it's only mm -hmm. doing 60% of what it should do. You might exactly. need to invest and get a new furnace in here. Exactly. You know? And that's what m more and more uh, brokers or realtors should be aware of, what you just said. Yeah. Which is very, very important for them to be aware of that because, uh, uh, you know, s sellers uh, want this certain amount for their homes. Yeah. And meanwhile, they don't know that the furnace, it, it, oh, and sometimes you tell them, but they won't listen to you. <laughs> you know, but they don't know that, that the roof is defective. It, it needs to be replaced. Or that they shag a, carpet you know, needs to come out of here. Whatever, it's been here yeah. for 30 years. Many, many conditions that, yeah. you know, they, they just don't want to yeah. be aware of. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's important in, in this business. And it's another thing that I always try to teach my realtors. Listen, always tell the truth. Tell the truth. Don't mm -hmm. try to you know, cover this up with some kind of answer. It is mm -hmm. what it is. And if 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 I can't tell a, a seller this is an issue, mm -hmm. the buyers are going to see it when a, a professional like you comes in and says, well, right. no, this is asbestos. Right. And it's not wrapped correctly. Right. So we have to result. And now that I've seen it, mm -hmm. this has to be reported. You got to exactly. straighten this out, you know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I got, well... I, we've answered a couple questions here. Let's let's talk about this. What is this? What's going on here? I see you got all kind of stuff here. Tell me what I we figured, got here. I figured let me bring some of the tools That's right. that we uh, we I try to have as many. I mean, you're not going to take the house apart, but you should be ready as an inspector. You should be ready to have the proper tools to perform certain certain inspections that you may want to know about or certain conditions. Why didn't you bring uh, that ladder then? <laughs> that's it. That up. ladder, it's, that's that. my savior there. Yeah, I know, I know. Come uh, on. But that, uh, I, uh, usually inspectors bring uh, a ladder. Yes. That's, uh, that's, that can go at least 12 to 14 feet. Yes. You know, uh, we uh, have tools such as uh, this, this, this basically tells uh, temperatures and, 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 you know, it's like a infrared uh, uh, basically signal that you get and it tells you the temperature of that uh, item whatever you're inspecting uh, this is a voltage tester I want so you basically, to do this in Spanish too okay you know I want you to do this in Spanish <laughs> this is a voltage tester and uh, and this I uh, this is one of my favorite tools uh, this is a pro a protimer uh, meter and basically what it does is it inspects for moisture so okay. any walls, any conditions that I see that I uh, that may have, uh, it may look good to you, and yes. then when you go and you test it, it'll yes. have moisture. That means you have a leak somewhere. Uh, and then I, I have my uh, typical uh, outlet tester like this that checks for uh, the proper wiring of an outlet, and obviously all the rest of uh, screwdrivers, set of screwdrivers. And in here, I carry a portable uh, drill that basically allows me to open up panels and, and take uh, some panels apart that uh, may be a little more difficult to do. Uh, this is my flashlight. Mm -hmm. It's a very high beam, very high intensity flashlight that works great. You mm -hmm. should have a good flashlight. And, um, and those are my tools. Uh, in Spanish, <laughs> very quickly. Uh, I thought this was a stun gun. I thought no, you were it looks stun like me it. if I didn't ask the right questions. <laughs> Say yeah. Give me it in Spanish. Yes, uh, for my for the Spanish speaking uh, folks, uh, estas son mi 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 herramientas que uso para chequear la tem las condiciones de la casa. Básicamente esto me deja saber si hay humedad en la casa y uh, tengo esto chequea las temperaturas de cosa y esto chequea la electricidad si hay electricidad o no. Um, est, esto me chequea si los, to, los toma corriente están alambrado, alambrado bien o no. Y mucho de tornilladores yo cargo y también un portable uh, taladro que yo cargo para inspeccionar uh, paneles, etc. 
seat. <laughs> you put me in a spot there. <laughs> That's it. Por qué? Okay. This is a test. Uh, it's called radon. Uh, radon, uh, a lot of homes in, in the United States uh, may have radon and you may not be aware of. Yes. And this is a test. It's a charcoal uh, canister test that we leave behind. Uh, and that tests the, the air in the home. Mm -hmm. And basically we leave it for two days minimum, seven days maximum, and then we pick it up, take it to the lab, and then they'll tell us the, uh, the levels. The levels in New York State are four picocuries, acceptable levels, and anything below there that is acceptable. Anything above that uh, requires attention, sometimes remediation. What I mean by remediation is basically that the property has to be treated yes. so that you can lower the radon levels and the house would be, you know, occupable we, for the... We've done, uh, I've, I've sold four or five hundred homes and, mm -hmm. and one house that we, the radon level, mm -hmm. and radon gases comes from under the ground, the mm -hmm. rocks and stuff. We had one house in Yonkers and it was over some rocks and stuff and we had to uh, have a uh, fan mm -hmm. thing that brought it out of the house right, right. to bring the levels down. It's the first time it ever happened and I was happy to be able to see what was going to be done right. to remediate the toxic radon gases mm -hmm. from the basement. Right. Now uh, I'm sure a lot of homeowners don't know of this. Right. And they need to have this done maybe if they live in an area where you see something going out the side of the house up to the top and it was how it, re, you know, got rid of it. You might want to have this done, you know, because right, right. you don't know. You have your grandkids and right. your kids downstairs playing. And, and it's a process that can easily be remediated. Yes. Uh, it usually takes about a day. Uh -huh. And like you said, it's a system that they uh, perforate into the ground. That's right. And then they uh, put a little suction fan that uh -huh. sucks out the gases from the uh, structure, from the grounds, and then it vents it out and over the roof. Many times these systems are also installed improperly, and, and the inspector can tell you is it done or at least look at the system and be able to educate you whether it's probably working right or not. Excellent, excellent. Listen, what is your, what is your, I know your card is going to be, uh, lift that up. Mm -hmm. Lift, no, the back of it, because as you were talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is, uh, this is uh, my pad. Usually I take a lot of notes, uh, and uh, you can reach me um, Give you a uh, at uh, www.hometeam slash forward slash uh, uh, rockland.com. Uh, my email is Arsenio Pena. S A R C E N I O P E N A at gmail dot com, and uh, our phone number is eight four five three five seven eight three two six. I am reachable for anyone who has questions regarding the process of either buying or selling a home. I can. Uh, talk to you. If you need my services, I gladly uh, meet up with you or whatever, discuss anything that you, any of your concerns. Now you got to do that in Spanish. Uh, nosotros uh, básicamente le uh, uh, podemos, no puede uh, contact, uh, a llamarnos a nosotros al teléfono 845-357-8326. El email de nosotros es Arsenio Peña, a r a R C E N E O P E N A A Gmail dot com S G M A I L dot com. The website de nosotros is www home team four slash Rockland Rockland R O C K L A N D dot com. Thank you so much. Listen, this thing here, I can't find mine, <laughs> but on that house that we were involved with uh, the, yes. on the last home inspection, you came across a couple of the fixtures that weren't grounded. Right. We're right. going to get that done. We're going to, should right. I say that on the thing? Yeah, we're going to get that done. <laughs> but this is an excellent piece because people think that, you know, things are grounded and is wired correctly. This right. is excellent. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a very, very important tool, and basically I use it to tell me whether that electrical circuit is working properly or not. And many, many, many times it can be a hazard to the, to the, you know, the owners of the home. You know, they, right. sometimes you may have an ungrounded circuit or outlet by a kitchen sink, and you can potentially get a shock from that. Well, one so. thing, we, we got a few minutes. I want you to uh, explain also, because a lot of homeowners don't know about uh, uh, bathtubs and sinks and GFIs, mm -hmm. and that uh, tell, tell, explain to the people why we, there's we, GFIs. We basically, as inspectors, we go in there and we try to advise the buyer and sometimes the sellers whether uh, something is done uh, according to your your typical uh, local requirements and we're not there to do code inspections but usually when you have an outlet in a in the exterior of the home in a bathroom or kitchens they should all be GFI protected that means the circuit should be connected properly with a special device that's called a GFI a ground ground force circuit interrupter that basically will trip in case there's an electrical fault and um, and basically this device can save your life. Yeah. Uh, in many in many cases, they are also rec highly recommended to be installed at some pump areas because yeah. someone may be touching water, and if it's not uh, wired properly, you can get electrocuted. So that's the the uh, outlet that has the buttons on it. Right. So it will set trip. Reset. Yeah. So when my beautiful wife is doing her that's hair <laughs> with the hair blower, and I come in trying to find something, and I knock her down, and she hits the water. Right. I, she can, uh, I can save her and I can hear about it later. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Listen, you've got, you've given some great information here. Uh, now, I want to know, Arsenio, how much time do you need to do in advance notice uh, to, to do a home inspection? Um, usually, I, it would be great that you give the, the inspector ample time so he could set himself up properly. Usually, you know, a couple of days uh, would be nice. Sometimes we have we have emergencies where they want it uh, right uh, sometimes during that day or the next day. But the inspector, give the inspector ample time so he could set up his day and have the proper help because usually we go in as a team and we have try to have, uh, you know, uh, you know, assistant inspectors with you there mm -hmm. so they, they can help you perform that inspection. Well, listen, this, I told you the show was going to be quick. Uh, Arsenio Pena, a professional, been doing this a long time. I always say that experience is the difference. People say, well, what's the difference in a guy? Can I have my carpenter over there to take a look? He does construction work. That's what he does. He's a carpenter. Experience is the difference. Have professional people come out. The, the cost of what you're buying makes so much of a difference to spend a little money and have somebody tell you about it. Uh, home team, inspection services, this is a good guy. He knows what he's doing. I'm happy that he's on my show to answer any of your questions. And I want you to, we got 22 seconds, I want you to close it out in Spanish. Gracias a, y cualquier cosa que necesiten, si van a comprar una casa, por favor llámenme eh, al 845-357-8322 y le prometo que le voy a dar la mejor inspección que ustedes pueden recibir. Thank you so much. Thank you.